Hallo, ik ben Julia. Ik kom uit Nederland en uit de provincie Gelderland. Hi, I'm Elina Bos. I'm her sister. We're both from Holland and we're big fans of churchmilitant.tv. And really, you should be too, so sign up today! Attention to our viewers in Spain. Michael Boris will be in Barcelona on October 4th through the 6th to speak at the CFC FFL European Conference. If you live nearby and are thinking of having him speak at your event while he's in town, email us at contact at churchmilitant.tv for available dates and information. See you in Spain! Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. There is a lot, a hell of a lot, emphasis on hell, wrong in the world today. So much so that it's easy to look around and even despair. And that despair is understandable if we view things from a strictly earthly perspective. In fact, it is the natural response to the current situation of so much madness in the world and in the church. But allow us, if you will please, to present a different way of looking at things for just a moment. As Dickens' famous novel, A Tale of Two Cities, begins, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief, it was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light, it was the season of darkness. It was the spring of hope, it was the winter of despair. We had everything before us, we had nothing before us. We were all going direct to heaven. We were all going direct the other way. Do we not see such a state of affairs like this playing out in the church today? Could there be a more obvious time in the life of the church where one can become a saint more easily than these days, stretching all the way back even to the amphitheaters of Rome? Great saints are forged in these circumstances. The chance given us by heaven to rise to the occasion and lay hold to the kingdom prepared for us from the foundation of the world. We are called and baptized to battle evil in ourselves as well as the culture, and by doing battle, merit heaven. Heaven is not so much the gift of grace as the opportunity to lay, lay claim to it is. No one earns heaven, strictly speaking. No one has a claim on God by their natural right. But he himself has bound himself to us under oath to give us our heavenly inheritance according to our deeds. And in his infinite, inscrutable ways, he has allowed the current crisis to unfold whereby we can seize our inheritance. So, we must fight. We must fight until we die. We must die fighting. In fact, the only way one wins heaven is to die fighting. So we fight evil wherever it manifests itself, and looking around the world, it is manifest everywhere. But over and above all of this, we must fight evil in the church. The Catholic Church is the bride of Christ, and since God himself has so ordered the world that the bride and the groom are one flesh, then the Catholic Church is both the bride of Christ and at the same time his own body, as St. Paul constantly reminds us. So in fighting for the church, we fight for Christ, we fight for heaven. We fight as members of the church militant here on earth so that we may one day be members of the church triumphant, breathing the breath of the Holy Trinity from within the beatific vision. These are messy days, but oh, they are days of glorious battle. Every temptation you overcome, every demon you cast away from you and back to hell is one more advancement of the kingdom. And we know that the gates of hell shall not withstand the onslaught. Satan's kingdom will fall and will be trampled by you, by me, consigned in the end to the fiery pit. We get to participate in this. We are made for this. I will put hatred between you and the woman, between your offspring and hers, God says to the serpent. Our blessed Lord is her offspring, quite obviously, but... We are her spiritual children, her spiritual offspring, by virtue of the fact that we are the adopted sons of God and brothers in Christ. So see, we were talked about all the way back on the first page of the Bible. We are joined to him, to Christ, in the flesh by virtue of the fact that we eat his body and drink his blood. And he desires that it be this way. We are the sons and daughters of his blessed mother because Christ delivered us to her and her to us while on his cross. And in the great spiritual battle, the conquest of hell, because that is what the spiritual battle is, 
the overrunning of Satan's kingdom, never forget that our Blessed Mother is our 12 star, 12 star general. How excited, enthused, and bloodthirsty would an army be if victory was guaranteed before the battle began? If a soldier knew that when he entered the fray of battle, he was guaranteed victory, that he would stand victorious over the corpse of his enemy, such a, sol such a soldier would rush headlong into battle. He would not hesitate. Well, this is the course of battle for us, for the faithful baptized. So what are we waiting for? We need to be on the attack full time, fighting till we drop from exhaustion and receive the victor's crown. What else was the cause of St. Paul's joy near the end of his life when he wrote his famous words, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith, now the victor's crown awaits me. The doom and gloom is the situation if we look to the earth, but if we look to heaven, then the situation is one of earnestness and joy over being in the battle. Such should be our outlook. God love you. I'm Michael Voris. In a culture where logic and reason have been discarded, the truth of Holy Mother Church is still very much alive. Fill your soul with the truth of the Holy Catholic faith. Get your premium account at churchmilitant.tv today and discover the truth.